Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a complete laundry room makeover video. We're going to be organizing. We're doing a few small renovations in there and I am so excited to take you guys along on this process. If you've been around my channel for a while, I've been slowly going through all the rooms in our home and decluttering, organizing, cleaning them really well and just simplifying our spaces. So that is what I'm gonna do in our laundry room today. So if your laundry room feels super overwhelming and unorganized, then you are in the right place. Hopefully we can do this together. Prop your phone up and let's get to cleaning and decluttering together. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. And also today's video is in collaboration with my good friend Cass. I will have her channel linked down below. So I cannot wait to watch her video and get inspired from it and see what she does. I love Cass's home. It's so beautiful. It has that modern farmhouse feel that I love and I know you guys do too. Too. So make sure to go subscribe to Cass's channel. You guys will just love her. So without further ado, let's go check out the laundry room. All right, this is what we're working with in the laundry room. Whenever we moved in, we painted the walls gray. They used to be a tan color and this cabinet actually fell down a couple months ago. And we also took down some shelving that we had back here. So it's pretty much a blank space. So Taylor went in and put in this wall pop wallpaper on the wall with the washer and dryer. We also put some cabinets up that used to be in our kitchen where the floating shelves are now. So that is the adjustments that we've made. I love this wallpaper. It is so good. It is from wall blush, like I said, and I will have it linked down below. The next step was to patch up all the holes and then I did put together this five shelf organizer from Target to help store my bigger kitchen appliances um, like my air fryer and instant pot and crock pots and all that good stuff. So I'll show that in a little bit. But first things first, now that Taylor has kind of gotten in there and done his thing, I'm gonna come in and do mine. I'm gonna start by cleaning off this cabinet and I'm using my seventh generation wood cleaner. I'm just giving it a good wipe down before I start anything else. are up on the wall and now we're going to bring in the butcher block. We just went to Menards and Home Depot and ended up finding one at Home Depot that was wide enough but also like deep enough to go over the washer and dryer but we didn't want it to actually sit on the two machines so we have these brackets. I'll try to link all of these um, pieces down below in the description, but your local home improvement store should have it, but we did find everything at Menards and Home Depot. The brackets were Menards, the butcher block was Home Depot, and then we also put an oil on there. I'll go grab that so you guys can see, but it did change the color of the butcher block just a little bit, gave it like a richer look. So we're going to drag this thing in. It is super heavy, so it's gonna take both of us. But every time I think these scars about This was so unbelievably heavy. I can't even tell you guys, but we had to make sure that the brackets would support it and with having six of them it does, but it was super heavy for two people to lift. And then we also ran into some trouble with it. We were three inches short on the right hand side, so we decided to cut another piece of the butcher block and just add it to the end and there is a seam there but honestly it doesn't look too bad so we were problem solving right here and then this is the final product so I don't think it looks too bad it kind of goes with that butcher block choppy feel anyways 
and yeah that's what <laughs> it ended up just having to be so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some organizing I first got these labels from an Etsy shop I will link down below she was so kind to send these to me for this video and I loved these labels so I grabbed some containers I have this amber glass jar that I had laying around I also picked up these canisters that were from Hobby Lobby and they were a part of the spring shop line so they were 40% off and I love them. I think they're so pretty with the bamboo lids. I also picked up some wool dryer balls from Walmart and some clothes pins. That way I could have them organized in one of the jars. Then I also picked up these large jar glass containers from Target. And I like that they had a spout on it. They have a suction lid and they were only $5 a piece, which if you have looked for glass jars that are a decent size I believe these are a two quart jar um, they're really pricey so five dollars was a steal for these and now I'm going to start organizing them I'm gonna put the clothes pins in one jar and I just love the minimal look of the labels I think they are so sleek and classy and honestly they will be so timeless so this is everything this was what I had in mind when I was thinking of the laundry room and organizing things so finding that getting rid of the actual physical products the bottles and stuff it reduces clutter because it's not as bulky and it just looks better as well so I grabbed a little wooden scoop for the scent boosters and I'm going to put the lid on this smelled so good so so good and then I'm going to finish putting the labels on. Put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front.
Okay, we just replaced the light bulbs and that made such a difference in how bright it is. And the butcher block is now all on here. So much better. So I'm going to put all of those containers in these shelves right here. And I'm also going to start like organizing them and just seeing what I'm going to keep in here. So I do have this organizer, it's from Walmart. And I think they still have it, but now I don't really have anything to put in it other than my washing machine cleaner. So I need to figure out something to do with this. This one over here, I keep my, um, well, I'm gonna keep my dryer sheets in here because that it's like the perfect little box for them. But both of these are from Walmart in the Better Homes and Garden. And I think they have a medium size one of these too. So I might even leave these out not 100% sure yet. And then maybe have all of my cleaners up here, but I just love the labels. I think they look so good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna bring my hamper. I'm gonna put that back in there. It fits perfect. And then I think I'm going to hang a sign over here on this wall. It's just a plain wall right now. And I'd love to put Warden Batten up here eventually. So. We'll probably do that at some point. And then behind the door, I have this organizer, which we'll probably pull it off of that electrical outlet. But um, we have this that I need to kind of reorganize. It's got like my canning stuff up top, my crock pots, drink dispensers, air fryers, Instapots, and then like um, carriers, like cake carriers, cupcake carriers. And then down at the bottom is our electric skillet in case a dia maker. And then behind the door, this is our, this has been in here. We have our iron and ironing board. And then I keep all of our plastic bags on the back of this as well, um, just in an Aldi bag. So that's already been here, probably won't change it up but that's looking a lot different. So now I just have to organize the cabinets. I also picked up these Slim Beam lights from TJ Maxx. They were $9.99, they come in a two pack and they take six batteries, I think three batteries per light and they are motion detective lights. So I'm really excited to see how these work. We're gonna put them underneath those cabinets in the laundry room. So it just has this sticky part on the back, kind of like a command strip. And then there is the light. So I wonder how it's motion detective. Design. All right, so there are the lights on. They'll stay on for 30 seconds. So it's kind of nice to have, but um, definitely not a necessity. Probably should have gotten like the puck lights that you can manually turn on, but I do really like these. I also had Taylor hang up that drying rack. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's not really my style anymore with the galvanized, but it's still super functional. So I hated to get rid of it. So we put it behind the door and it tucks away so you don't even see it. It's great. So now I'm going to organize some of my cleaning products that are just extras like my steam mop cloths, my Bona cleaners, things like that. Just all of my floor cleaners I'm gonna put into one bin. And I get all of these from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods, sometimes Walmart, but usually I get the best deals at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So I find that if I buy more than I'm thinking I will need, I usually end up having better luck than running low on baskets. It's just never fun to have to run to the store for just one. So I'm going to put all of the containers back into the cabinets and then I'm going to adjust the shelves as needed. I also grabbed some of those woven baskets and I'm going to store my candles in there as well as batteries and then I decided to switch the floor products to this bin over here with the handle. I thought it would just be easier and I liked that it sat up a little bit higher. So. Now I'm going to display some of those label bins out on the butcher block. So the spot treatment, the clothespins, and the wool dryer balls. I have all of those out there. And then I had Taylor adjust some of the cabinet shelving. It was pretty easy to pop in and out and you can really just adjust them to whatever size you need. So I put some of these on top. And then on the other side, I have a clear bin full of 
occult food and dog toys and leashes and different things of just things that are dog related and then I put his food in a container and his milk bones in a container as well and I have those just setting out on the first shelf that way I can grab them really easily but since I don't need to grab candles or batteries very often with those woven baskets I decided to put them on the top shelves and then I had a small space in the middle so I decided to store some toilet paper in there and it actually worked out perfect. All right, now I'm gonna organize behind the door and I decided to move this shelving unit over just a little bit, that way we could still get into our electrical box, but it's not a huge eyesore whenever you first walk into the laundry room. I like that it's behind the door for that reason, but I did want to go through and just kind of reorganize where everything goes. So I put things that I'm not using very often, like our drink dispensers and ice container and canning um, pot, all of that on top, then crock pots, then my instant pot, and my air fryer, toaster, and then on the bottom I have more of my carrying things, so my cake carrier, pie carriers, things of that sort. Now I'm gonna clean the floors really good and we are so close to being done. I find that cleaning the floors last works out best because you're always getting dust and things on the ground, so I'm just going to use my cordless vacuum. I love this thing. It works really well and I was surprised how well it works because I've never had a cordless vacuum before but I love it and then I'm going to use my shark steam mop to deep clean the floors really well and here in a second I'm going to take my shoes off. I realized I had them on and I probably didn't need to so I'm going to take those off and um finish mopping the floors but this got so much dirt off of the floors it's crazy I picked up this rug from Hobby Lobby in the spring shop line. It was 40% off too. They also had it in black and white. And then I've got a little stool and this fiddle fig leaf tree and Clarence Hobby Lobby planter. I found that in the last video. So if you guys want to see that, go check out my last video that I posted. But yeah, that was such a steal of a deal. And then I'm going to put our trash can back in here and then it is going to be time to decorate and I just have a couple different pieces some I've thrifted some were Clarence Hobby Lobby finds this laundry sign was from the Dollar General believe it or not this basket I already had and then this accordion hook I found at the thrift store and the laundry sign I actually got secondhand from my mom she never ended up using it so I said I would I thought it was so cute so I'm going to set everything up and we're going to hang the signs on the wall. Then I'm just going to add a cute little market bag from Waco, Texas at the silos. I love that one. And then a little brush. And here is the final product. I am so happy with how it turned out. I just love it now. It's such a fun, relaxing space to 
do our laundry and just be a nice functional room so I'm really happy with it like I said we'll probably end up adding board and batten to this long wall eventually and I think it would be so beautiful in there so if we do you know that I will share the process with you guys but yes I will link everything else that I can down below in the description box if you guys are interested in any of these items the wallpaper the butcher block the brackets the oil I'll also link the labels and stuff down below, but if you want any other links, just leave me a comment. But I am so excited with how it turned out, and I love that everything in the cabinets is functional as well. Days without water and long sun so grown. We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you Without sleeping, cause you fear the night And days without eating, cause it ain't enough for two And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you If you guys are limited on space in your laundry room, I highly recommend a drying rack like this for clothes. It comes in handy and that's why I just couldn't get rid of it. So here is the shelving unit organized as well. I will link this down below. It was from Target and I believe it was like $65 and they usually run sales as well. So it's a really good quality shelf for the price. And then I stored Colt's little dog toys in the bottom in a basket that way I can pull them out and he can have them and then I also plugged our vacuum cleaner right next to it um, it does have a wall hanger mount that I need to get out and put up but here's Colt's little corner um, his Ray Dunn bowls and yeah this bag is where I also keep all of our regular um, grocery bags and stuff I like to keep those and reuse them and then this little organizer behind the door was from Target as well so that is it in the laundry room I am obsessed let me know what you think down below in the comments but I am just loving it Guys, that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed seeing this complete room transformation if you did make sure to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe it really helps my channel out I love bringing these organizational videos to you guys so if you enjoy seeing them please let me know and leave a comment down below and if there's anything useful or helpful or some tips and tricks leave them in the comments below I love seeing you guys help each other out and comment to each other it just makes me so happy so hopefully this video motivates you to get into whatever space in your home needs some TLC, whether that's decluttering, cleaning out, or just simplifying. It really does make it feel so much lighter and more functional, and it just feels a little bit more calming. So if you guys do organize your spaces, make sure to tag me over on Instagram at Kaylin underscore cash. I would love to see what you guys are up to. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.